using snapshots and presets. All right, in this tutorial, we're going to talk about using snapshots and presets. First, let's talk about the difference between the two. A snapshot temporarily records all of the settings that you've adjusted your image with. You can use a snapshot so that you can remember your settings and then make adjustments. And if you don't like those adjustments, you can always roll back to a certain snapshot setting. A preset is like a snapshot that you can save forever. It saves all of the settings you've adjusted your image with, and you can then apply that to other images, especially images from the same shoot. First, let's talk about how to use and adjust snapshots. To take a snapshot, go ahead and use the camera tool down here in the bottom of the toolbar. When you press it, it'll automatically take a snapshot. You can now select to use that snapshot as a preview by using the pop-ups at the bottom of either preview pane. Normally, the original image will be displayed in the left pane, but you can select any snapshot to preview. So by selecting snapshot 1, I can now compare different adjustments against my current image. For example, if there's one variable that I'm not sure about, I can go ahead and now adjust it compared to my last favorite state. In this case, we're going to go and we're going to adjust our vibrance or our color saturation a little bit. So I'm just going to go back to my color mode. All right, let's take a look over here on the right-hand side where we can see a lot of the color in our scene. We have lots of yellows and greens and oranges over here, and we can now adjust the vibrant slider up or down to control the strength or the vibrance of those colors. Going to the left will decrease it, and right will increase it. Let's say I wanted to increase those about 10 or so. So I can adjust that vibrant slider up. Let's go ahead and we'll take another snapshot here. This will now become snapshot two. And if I press the apply button, those settings will be applied. But let's say that I wanted to change my mind and go back to my original settings, back to snapshot one. All I do is go to the pop-up and select snapshot one instead. And the right-hand image, our after image, will now be adjusted back to the settings I had before. You can take up to six snapshots per image, and these are basically just saved settings that you can adjust at any time. A preset, on the other hand, saves all of your current settings in a way that you can use it again in the future. Let's scroll down to our presets. When you get Phototune, it comes with a few presets from On1 software, but you can create your own as well as download more from the On1 Exchange. And you can use presets in two ways. The first would be to use them for a specific correction. So if you have several images that are similar to each other, you can adjust the first image, save a preset, and then you can then apply it quickly to all the other images that are similar to it. This is especially useful inside of workflow applications like Lightroom or Aperture, which will show you how to do in their own movies. The second way that you can use a preset is for more of an artistic preset. So if you've made adjustments to your image, let's say like a black and white conversion, and you want to save it so that you can use that same black and white conversion in the future, you can do that with a preset as well. To save a preset, just press the plus icon in the bottom of the preset pane. This will open a new preset dialog. From here, you can go ahead and give it a name. I'm going to call this one Vivid Landscape. I can select a category that I'd like to place it in. I can create my own category by selecting New Category. I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call it My Presets. There we go. I can put in the creator. That's me, so I can find it easily. It's also useful if I share it on the On1 Exchange. People can search based on the creator name, and I can even give it a description. and then just press the Create button to save it. Now if you look in our preset pane, there's my new category right there, my presets, and inside of it is the preset that I created. When I mouse over it, you'll notice that the Navigator preview changes to match those settings. And if I mouse over these other presets, you'll see the difference. You can see how the Navigator turns black and white, or adjusts based on the preset that I moused over. To use a preset, simply double click on it. It will go ahead and adjust all of the settings in your image to match. For example, if I select the black and white landscape option, it'll go ahead and adjust all of my settings to match that preset. 
To delete a preset, just select it in the preset pane, and then click the minus symbol. That will remove a preset. If you want to edit a preset, simply select it, right click, and select edit. This will bring up the metadata panel where you can change information like the title, creator, or description. If you want to share a preset, select the Open Presets Folder button. This will open the Presets folder in your Finder or Explorer window, where you can see the individual presets. You can then email that preset to another user at Phototune or post it on the On1 Exchange where others can use it as well. Adding a preset that you've downloaded is just as simple. Just open up that preset folder the same way, drag your new preset into it, and the next time you launch Phototune, that new preset will be available for you to use. You can find more presets by clicking the Find More Online button at the bottom of your screen. This will go to the On1 Exchange where you can download and share presets.